Hey Aquarius, this is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot doing your love reading for October 2018. This is reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. So some of the messages may or may not resonate. That's okay. They don't. Maybe either the message just wasn't for you, um, or you can just check your other signs to see if um, something else resonates for you. So we are going into Venus retrograde on October 5th until November 15th. So it's a little bit of an auspicious time when it comes to partnerships. And this time is usually best to use, um, to reevaluate your partnerships, your love life. Okay. Um, some of you may be separated from someone. Some of you may be hoping for someone. And this can be a time where people actually come back or reunite uh, people from the past or people whom you thought maybe were long gone can sometimes reappear um, but what I want to do is I'm going to pull a card to see what your advice could be for this time period or what you what guidance you may need to look at in regard to the reevaluation process um, this is definitely not the best time for starting new relationships or rekindling old relationships. Um, it's not that, I mean, if that's something that you want to do, of course, but with that retrograde, this, there's a lot of changes that happen and it may be best just to take a pause during this time and then resume when she goes direct. So let's see what your advice is or what guidance messages you may need to pay attention to during this retrograde. Okay, the magician. So some of you are definitely going to be needing to, I feel, pay attention to, <coughs> sorry, your resources or your capabilities during this time when it comes to partnerships. Um, some of you may need to take a pause to regroup and figure out how to make something manifest in your life, something new, something old. Um, look and see during this time if you have everything that you need to get what you want, whatever it may be, whatever you're looking for, whatever you're hoping for. Do you have what it takes? Um, does someone else have what it takes? Reevaluate if you're dealing with people in your life who are putting every effort in to support you and to create magic in your life. In whatever way that may be, your career, your love life, your health. Do you have people around you who are... Uh, what is I uh, was coming to mind like um, well the magician sometimes your health or um, creative aspects or people who are able to make something out of nothing these are these are the type of people that I feel you wish to surround yourself with people who use everything they have, do everything they can. And, and also this can result or resort to you and yourself. Are you able to manifest things in your life, the things that you want? Or think about for the next, you know, eight, nine, ten weeks about what it is that you want in your life for yourself and how you can really go about getting this truly creating this magic in your life it's really time for you to do that in all areas and this would be a good time the universe wants you definitely to think about how you are manifesting the ways you're doing it and are you getting the results that you're looking for now let's take a look at what your love advice and guidance is for October.
So you have this could be the one. So there is someone who is in your periphery. You've already met the romantic partner that you seek. Okay, so they, the magician in this card can go hand in hand when it comes to love. There is someone in your life that either you you realize this could be someone for you. This is this could be the one for you. Um, but you need to perhaps figure out how you can manifest this person into your world so that it brings um, just magic, okay? Um, if you're out looking, if you're out seeking uh, to, to be with someone or to connect with someone, I feel like you already have made a connection with, with a particular person. And um, you may not even realize that whoever this person is, that this is, this is the, the one for you. Okay, when it comes to romantic love. Um, sometimes, you know, everybody's seeking their soulmate. <clears throat> and soulmates, we have many soulmates at one time. You know, your, your best friend, is the, the closest person to you, whoever it could be, is a soulmate for you. And you could have a, a special romantic partner who is also a soulmate. You know, we have lots and lots of soulmates. And so I feel like there is one person in your life who you never really considered or you weren't sure if this person was that for you. And I feel like that person that you've never considered is actually the one that's been there the whole time. Okay, so let's move on to your reading now. This this reading is going to be the perspective of the other person and what is going on with them. Okay, so you know who your person is, friend, family member, lover. Okay, if you have absolutely no one in your life, um, are you waiting for someone to come? I don't really do. This reading isn't really about that. This isn't I mean, if I see someone new coming in, I will show you, I will say something. Um, but this is really more so for people who are already dealing with someone and how to help with that particular situation or what's going on with that situation with that person. Okay. So, so the person that you're dealing with, their past position is the seven of pentacles. So I feel like this person they're always striving and contemplating their life in some way, or at least they were in the past. They may have felt like they've had many failures, things that they attempted to do that they weren't able to accomplish. Um, I feel like this person at some point in the past did really feel like a failure, or they felt like relationships or connecting with people just never went anywhere. And with you, I do feel that they felt that way about themselves, that they were never sure if they were putting enough in, if they were giving enough. Um, they were always checking <laughs> to see, you know, where they stood with you, perhaps. Or even if they didn't say anything, they uh, were always feeling that way. I just want to clarify. I don't usually clarify minor arcana cards, but just want a little bit more information on this person. Okay. The Eight of Wands. I feel like some of you were just dealing with someone who perhaps was, you know, always maybe messaging you, where are we? What are we doing? Who are we? What What are we going to be? What are we going to, you know, our... Uh, they, I feel like they, they brought messages of, of um, positivity, but at the same time, they were trying to overcompensate for the negativity that they felt, perhaps about themselves. Or they were always trying to make the connection between you seem more than it was when they truly didn't believe that it could be anything more. Not because it couldn't, but because they were very insecure. They felt like... Um, you may not have ever felt that they were good enough for, for you know, like you, they felt like you didn't think they were good enough for you. And that may not necessarily be true. You probably 
didn't feel that way, but there was something within them. I feel that also this person really wanted to, you know, the Eight of Wands can be a travel card, so it can have something to do with being distant. Um, I felt that they were, they were, they did seem distant, and also that they were distant because they were contemplating things in their life, um, things that was that were going on in their life that they were trying to re reevaluate things, trying to figure things out with what was going on with them in the present. They have the five of uh, the five of pentacles so they're in the state of worry still um, they feel lost this person feels lost hopeless perhaps about the connection between the two of you what's crossing them is the eight of cups so there may be some type of a temporary situation, and it's necessary at this time for this person. The, this person, I don't feel like they can bring anything to you because they are, there may have been communication, lots of communication back and forth between the two of you sometime in the past. Past could be yesterday, weeks, months, years. Lots of communication, and perhaps communication about money or business too because we have the pentacles here um, but I see them now kind of feeling broke or just completely destitute they're searching for their hope and with the eight of cups challenging them in the challenge position benefit or a challenge they need to be separate or separated from you during this time they're retreating because of their worry because of their perhaps financial fears or um, their feeling of maybe feeling that this relationship is hopeless to them I see this person what's driving them the priestess is here which is the high priestess this person is extremely in, uh, intuitive or they come across they have they keep these secrets they really don't tell people um their deepest darkest secrets they don't tell you they don't say they don't just open up and they're not they don't they don't come across to me as someone who's emotionally vulnerable or emotionally open I feel like this person will say things to maybe make you think that they are open, but that that's really just a cover for their deep insecurities or fears that they have deep inside of them. And since the high priestess is, this is the number two card, twos are always about partnerships. I feel it's more so about you. They're not telling you what's going on with them right now, but I feel like you sense it. And I do feel like they want to. They want to communicate with you. Perhaps about some growth that they've been experiencing, that they're experiencing at this time. Could have something to do with child as well. What's crowning them is the Wheel of Fortune. So I really feel they, I feel like this person is really focusing on their money or their career and their wealth and not so much. They want things to change between you and them. They want a, some type of change to come across. They do want to open up. They do want to message you. They, do, they want to be able to talk to you about their innermost feelings and their fears and their secrets and the things that they have never told you before. But I feel like they're worried that you might reject them or you might um, 
not see them for being what they tried to project to you as being? So the Nine of Cups is here with the for with the Wheel of Fortune. Um, you may be dealing with someone that has a drinking problem. Um, they, I really feel like this person, when they think of you, they think that they like they they when you're on what's on their mind about you is that that you are good luck to them and you are like a wish for them but they also think that you are a bit blocked too in your emotions because the nine of cups you see this person has their arms crossed. So kind of like, no, they think that you you have this thing where you have everything that you want that you need and that you really don't need anymore. But they also, I feel like, would like to communicate to you that you are a fortunate aspect of their lives. At least when they think of you, that's how they think of you. But they're in this, you know, they're in this place right now where they are in October. They're separating from you or they're keeping their distance from you because of their uh, fears and their worries. And it's really interesting. I think that they think that, you know, you are just so fantastic and they don't feel like they could really measure up to you. That they could be as wonderful as you are. I know it's a little bit of a strange message, but that's really what I'm picking up. The near future, the hermit card is here. Uh, some of you could be dealing with Virgo, but I'm seeing in the near future here um, deep reflection, still still being left out in the cold, still separation, still uh, separation here with the hermit, not communicating. Even though the Queen of Swords is a communication card, you know, she's a truth-telling card of anything. Um, I see them just kind of hiding away from you because that's you. We have both Queen of Swords here and here. So this person, you know, whether you're uh, female or male, um, I feel like this person is just doing the shutout game for a little while. And, you know, I've been trying to tell a lot of people that I do personal readings from. The energy definitely during this retrograde is going to be conducive of the good old shutout. There's going to be probably some lack of communication or deep reflection. And I feel like this person is also going to be reflecting about you and the relationship as well. I feel like they want to tell you that you are a positive force in their life. They would like to communicate to this to you. There might also be communication that there are two other people in their life and there's perhaps a choice that needs to be made that needs to come out into, into the open and they may not know how to tell you this. Now this energy could be playing out somewhere towards the end of October as well. Queen of Cups, Queen of Swords. Or this is both of, you know, your energy coming across as um, an emotional communicator. Okay. This person, what they're sitting in right now is this emperor energy. They are trying to remain stable and strong. 
they are trying to put on this front as if, you know, the emperor doesn't really show his emotions. And so they're trying to <clears throat> put on this front of, you know, I'm stable, I'm secure, I am unaffected, <clears throat> sorry, I am in control of my life. I do not demand things from people. I command. I think they're trying to stay in this place of power. And to be non-affected. That's the card of Aries. So some of you could be dealing with Aries as well. Yeah, see, they're coming across. They're in this place of indifference to love right now. And I feel that's because they have fear and worry. Fear of being abandoned. Fear of being, um, if they open up to you and tell, the, tell you how they feel. Um, or tell, tell you that they have feelings for you, but they don't feel they're good enough for you. Um, they reject, they're rejecting love offers from others as well. They are just really in this place where they're he they're trying to heal. They're they're blocking, you know. They're and and this is being their energy here too with the nine of cups is, you know, this is blocking all love. Blocking. See how the arms are in front of both of these people, just blocking the heart, closed off the heart chakra, not allowing love in, not accepting love, not paying attention to it. They may also communicate or may wish or, or may be thinking about communicating to you that maybe you have interest in others and not them. And I see your energy here with the seven of cups being um, in your advice to definitely stay uh, open, keep your mind open to maybe options or things other things going on in your life, you you may, it's almost like try not to put your eggs, all your eggs into one basket with this person because you yourself may not be sure about them. You know, it's, let me fix this real quick. I'm sorry. You know, it's hard to be sure about other people where you stand with them. If you ever find yourself asking the other person you're with, like saying to them, well, where do I stand with you? If you're asking that, that question, it's because that person doesn't know where they stand. So how could they know where you stand with them if they don't know where they're standing? And I feel like this person, they're standing in a place of fear and worry, and they're not trying to commit right now because they're unsure about themselves. And your advice here is to not commit yourself to anything with this person, at least during the month of October. Okay, at least stay focused on the things you need to do. You know you have options out there, and you may have to wait for this pe this person to get out of this, to get into the light. They're not quite ready. Mid October, they're you know they're they're just still kind of pulling away. They're not sure what they want or where they want to go. They you know they have a hope the death card here some of them are hoping for a Scorpio or uh, they're they could have been dealing with the Scorpio some of them are just hoping for change for this something to end maybe they were dealing with a death in their family or an issue with someone that passed away with uh, any person and it's been very difficult for them and they feel lost and but their fear and they fear that that's happened they want the change they wish for it to happen okay i feel like the outcome is for you to just let this go the hangman is here with the queen of swords and that's you again and then it's time at least for this time period of october to spend time reflecting as they are doing and to just um, accept the situation as it is right now that you really there's nothing here that's telling me that this person is going to take action short of just maybe a text message here and there but nothing deep I don't feel that they are 
ready to come out of where they are just yet. And that's okay, because I mean, next month they might. But the hangman is just saying, um, be where you are, be in your element as the queen or king of swords. Be, you know, be that person, be who you are. Don't, don't be, don't let the situation cause you to feel um, that because they are feeling left out in the cold that you're going to also feel that way you know you stay in your warmth you stay where you are and in your confidence and in your power okay um because they do feel lost but i, I don't a hundred percent feel like they feel lost that it's because of you i feel they have other things going on in their life right now that is causing them to feel lost they don't want to lose the connection with you because you do bring joy and happiness you are a wish come true for them in whatever way it is a wish for them. Um, but I feel like they're going through something right now and it's okay to just allow them to be on that journey and to go through those changes they need to go through because they don't feel like they can actually be there for you right now because they're not there for themselves 100%. And I feel like they're trying to get themselves back to that place. So it's okay to just leave them be. It's okay to um, you know, accept that this is where they are right now um, you can always still just be available, um, but have no expectation from them during this time. And then reflect on what it is that you need, on, on how you can manifest things in your life during this retrograde or during this October season. Figure out how you can make things better for yourself and for this relationship. Sometimes the best way to help a relationship along is to not do anything and to just be still and allow the universe to work its magic through the connection between you and the other person. Because that's when, when two people are meant to be together, there really isn't anything you can do to stop that. And if they're not meant to be together, there isn't anything you can do to make it happen. You know, and you can, you know, just because you stand at the platform waiting for the train and it doesn't mean the train's going to come. It's supposed to, and we're hoping it does, but sometimes we justify it by saying, well, I'm here, so you should be here. Well, not, not, not necessarily. The train could be delayed or there could be reasons for, um, you know, there, there was a crash or something, you know, um, the universe will work its magic when it's time for it to happen. And whatever this person that you're dealing with is going through, just allow them to go through the, their process, their soul journey. Okay, Aquarius, I know that was kind of preachy, and I didn't mean to be preachy. Um, just trying to help. If you guys would like a personal reading, of course, you can click one of the links, well, the link below in the description box, and I'll see you in a couple weeks. Okay, take care.